Hey, welcome everyone to Two Minutes Tuesday with Bala. And this week's episode, uh, we are going to continue with the uh, Azure front door. In this week, I'm just trying to going to explain um, which is uh, the WAF policy. Let's get started. So let's navigate into the de default WAF policy. So the WAF policy always has two modes. One is your prevention mode, one is your detection mode. Typically, uh, the WAF policy is always starting with the detection mode. Typically, you put it in a detection mode where you detect everything, but it is not going to stop anyone. So the traffic kind of flows through. And the second mode is prevention mode. Once you see like two weeks of monitoring, fine tuning your policies and rules and everything, then we switch it into prevention mode, where if there is any issues, then it kind of blocks and then gives them a 403. Let's get into the policy settings. Once you, go, once you go there and you can see this, uh, the body inspection is enabled. If in case something is being blocked, at least you want to give more like a user-friendly message. And what is the response code? Typically it is 403. Moving on to the next one is the managed rules. We created a standard tire, so I don't have much to deal with. It's out of the box, the WAF policy. If you're in a premium tire, then the WAF policy is entirely displayed where you can enable and disable certain rules. The next one we will look into is uh, custom rules. In custom rules, most of the scenarios, you can block a traffic from a specific region or country. Quickly show you a quick demo here. And then you can see you can enable or disable the rule. And then you have uh, two options here. One is a match. Uh, and then the next one is a rate limit. So match is something like you can have a condition check here. So in this case, you have a geolocation or you can have an IP address or a particular size of the request. And if there is any specific string present in the request, then you can disable that. The second one is a rate limit. So here you can also see that uh, within a particular time duration, what is the threshold to meet? So if it, if you are hitting the website or an API with like 100 requests within one minute, then you will be blocked for a certain period of time. Then you can say, hey, I want to deny this traffic. Go on to the association, this is one thing which at least I ran into a situation where I need to associate a rule, uh, a default rule to maybe 15 sites because I didn't want to create a one rule per site. Rather, you can have like a default policy that you can share. So in that case, if I go to my, uh, so when you go to the front door manager and if you create a new endpoint and try to apply the security policy, like this default policy will not be available for you to add it to a newer endpoint. It kind of restricts you to create one policy per uh, domain. So the easy quick hack, I which at least I followed here, is going back into that particular policy. Go to this association tab. Here you can go and add it to a particular, and this is one way you can just add it directly from the front door manager. When it doesn't allow you, you can directly come into the policy and then go into the association tab, and then you can add it. That's up for this uh, this week. I uh, hope to see you next week with uh, more Azure front door tips. Uh, next week, we could look into uh, how custom domains are set up. Thanks again for watching. See you again next week.